Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, we'll be showing you Klarna Pay Later, the ultimate guide. So, we have a lot of topics to discuss here, so let's start with how to verify Klarna account. So, you might be wondering how do you verify your Klarna account. So, you might be new and you might be wondering how to do this. So, for new registrations on Klarna, when you open the app for the first time, you'll select your region and choose the sign up options. Now, following this, you need to enter a phone number and use an SMS code and you receive to confirm your account. After this initial step, you'll be prompted to provide additional information such as your name, your contact details. Optionally, you can also add your credit card information to enhance the security and set up your account. Now, if you need to verify a pre-existing account for security reasons or general assurance, navigate to the profile by tapping the bottom right corner of your screen. Access the settings and choose the contact details option under the general tab. Now, within the contact details, you can add a new phone number. Note that while you can freely manage phone numbers and personal information, changing your email requires contacting customer support. To manage your email, go to the Help Center and tap View All Messages on your profile and initiate a new chat with Klarna Customer Support for assistance. How to check purchase power on Klarna. So you might be wondering how do you check your purchasing power in Klarna or, in, or in, on Klarna. In this case, to check your purchase power on Klarna, use the latest version of the Klarna mobile app. There are several ways to do this. For instance, you can check when generating a one-time card by inputting a large amount to see if it actually allows you. Another method is by navigating to the bottom of your screen and selecting you from the navigation bar. Now in the bottom right corner, go to your account page by clicking on your user icon. Now there, you'll find the purchasing power listed at the top of the screen alongside your points. This is the most reliable way to check your purchase power. Now just a few disclaimer here, if you can't view your purchasing power, it may be due to some reasons such as your account not having permissions because you haven't started using the service yet, or they are analyzing your account. Sometimes purchase power might be temporarily unavailable, so you may need to wait for them to resolve this issue on their end. Regardless, the tips mentioned, including trying to generate a one-time card, can serve as a workaround. And that's about it. So this one is pretty easy. As, you, as long as you visit the appropriate windows, you'll be able to view your purchasing power in Klarna. How to get purchase power on Klarna. So you might be wondering how do you increase your purchasing power in Klarna to really maximize your experience in using Klarna. Well, this one is kind of tricky, so we'll be giving you and I'll uh, basically discussing with you some details that you should know for you to increase your purchasing power. So currently, we are in the official website of Klarna, which is Klarna.com. Now, in this case, uh, for us to view some details regarding our purchasing power, I would recommend you to go to the help section here, click on it, and search for the customer support here, and search for the following topic, which is going to be how much am I eligible to spend. Now, you Usually for you to view your purchasing power, you just need to log in into your account, just click on purchase power and from then you will be able to basically uh, get your purchasing power, which is in this case is going to be indicated here on the article itself. Now the main topic here, so how do you increase your purchasing power? Well the direct answer to that is for you to increase your purchasing power with Klarna is you just to have to ensure that whenever you're using their services is that you pay on time. So for example, uh, you bought something online using Klarna, make sure that you pay for the product in advance or even on the appropriate dates. Now missing payments on your or basically in Klarna, you will have the less a probability of getting an increase on your purchasing power. So currently, this is the only way for you to increase your purchasing power in Klarna as their support does not accept requests for increasing your spending limit or increasing your purchasing power with Klarna. Now, the best thing that you can do here is whenever you bought something online or with Klarna, make sure to pay online or basically on time for you to start getting that 
um, purchasing power increased as you uh, start using or as you as long as you use their services. So yeah, currently this is the only way for us to increase our purchasing power in Klarna and that's about it. How to use Klarna Pay Later. So Klarna provides various pay later options and these specific steps depend on the option you choose at checkout. Regardless of your choice, ensure you have the latest Klarna mobile application or latest update. Now start by opening the Play Store for Android or App Store for iOS, then download the latest Klarna app. Now once the app is downloaded, managing payments and tracking purchases become easy. Now, from the app's home screen, select a store or retailer accepting Klarna Pay Later. Upon choosing a store, proceed to the checkout by adding items to your cart. If redirected to the store within the Klarna app, you'll find the Pay with Gay button at the checkout. By using this option, you can either generate a one-time card or make payments and manage installment free payments on your Klarna account. You can your account page will display all selected installments, including options for 30 days payment or financing for an extended period. After providing necessary information and choosing your payment plan, you can manage everything on your account page. Your account page will also show your purchasing power based on approval, indicating how much you can spend using this service. Register with all your contact details and other information to access Klarna Pay Later. How to use Klarna One Time Card So you might be new to Klarna and you might be wondering how do you use the One Time Card in Klarna. But it's actually a pretty easy and straightforward process. Now to use the Klarna One Time Payment Card, you need to start by launching the Klarna app. Now, while shopping in the any store of your choice within the app, you should spot the Pay with K or Pay with Klarna button typically located at the bottom of your screen. Now, once you've selected items and added them to your shopping cart you, and you are content with your purchase, click on the designated button and a prompt will appear enabling you to input the specific amount you wish to spend. Now, in this case, if you want to spend around $200, make sure to input $200 there. And in this case, make sure that it's actually enough for you to buy that specific or the set of products that you have. Now, from then, just enter the amount. So in this case, $200. And Klarna will then generate a one-time use card tailored to this transaction. Now, it's crucial to note that this generated card has a lifespan of 24 hours and if it remains unused within this life time frame, it will be automatically deleted. So take advantage of this card by returning to the shopping store, completing your purchase directly from your shopping cart. How to use Klarna in store. So you might be wondering and you might be new to Klarna. So how do you actually use Klarna in store? So in this case, what we need to do first is we first have to ensure that the store that you want to buy from actually supports Klarna. Now, in some cases, if some stores don't actually support Klarna, you won't be able to use Klarna. But if they do support Klarna, then you're in luck. Now, what you need to do is you first have to navigate to the wallet tab within the Klarna app. Now, where you'll find a comprehensive list of stores that already accepts Klarna. So if you're looking for a store, through the app is the best way for you to check if the store actually supports Klarna. Now, once you've pinpointed the store of your choice, proceed to execute the payment using one of the convenient methods that they offer. So one of those methods is through the use of digital cards. Now, in majority of stores, the payment process involves of creation of a one-time card directly within the app itself. So this user-friendly feature allows you to set a predetermined budget for the card. Now afterwards, simply add it to your mobile wallet and effortlessly tab your phone onto the, the designated payment terminal. Now in this case, you just need to use the card details that you'll be seeing for you to proceed with the payment. Now alternatively, uh, to embrace the current efficiency and the current progress of technology, you also have the option to use or scan a QR code. Now this is only in select store and the payment method presents itself through the scanning of a QR code located on the payment terminal. Now following this step, you have the flexibility to choose your preferred payment option and confirm the transaction with ease. How to book flight with Klarna. So how do you actually book a flight with Klarna. 
So we first have to know where we could actually book our flights. So we all know that Klarna is not supported on all platforms, meaning that we need to search for the appropriate platform for us to start using Klarna. Now, in this case, this is going to be the official website for Klarna, which is Klarna.com, and we are currently in the travel category for Klarna. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to search for a platform here. So if you're looking or looking for a booking a flight, you just need to choose the appropriate one here. So right now, we have the alternative airlines here. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now, it's going to redirect you into alternativeairlines.com here and the Klarna option as well. Now, in this case, in this page here, what we need to do is we need to choose the destination and where we're coming from. Now, in this case, we also have to choose the departure, return date, and the number of passengers. Now, in this case, we want to go ahead and search for flights for this one. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to wait for the flights to appear here. And once it actually appears, what we need to do next is choose our flight or select our flights. As you can see, Klarna is already located here and the price that we'll be paying for this specific flight. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on select flights here. And it's going to check the availability. And from here, you should be able to see the next page. Now, in this case, you just need to fill out all the necessary details here. And from here, at the very bottom and on the payment section, you should be able to see a payment option here. So in this case, you just need to choose your payment method here. So Klarna would be usually located at the buy now, pay later. But this is going to be on a case to case basis because sometimes Klarna would appear here, but sometimes it will not. So in some cases, if you don't see Klarna here, you might need to look for a different platform that Klarna actually supports. Now in this case, these are the different sites that actually supports Klarna. So go ahead and choose the appropriate one here. But in some cases, if you do see Klarna, here just choose Klarna and just proceed on checking out and paying for that specific flight now in this case this is how you actually book a flight with Klarna and that's about it how to book a hotel with Klarna so how do you actually book a hotel with Klarna so first thing that we need to do here is we need to know the platforms that actually supports Klarna. So I would actually suggest you to visit their official website, which is Klarna.com and going to their categories and going to travel. Now in this case, this is going to be the travel page for Klarna. In this case, we need to look for a platform that they support for hotel booking. Now in this case, we actually have Expedia here. So let's go ahead and click on it and open it up. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to choose the location or where do we uh, want to stay. Now, for example, I'm going to the following location here that I'll be typing. So maybe I want to say there's going to be this one from here. Just click on search. Make sure to choose your date and number of, of people that you want to include. And from here, you need to choose the appropriate uh, section here or the appropriate hotel. Now, maybe maybe I want to use this first one here. So let's go ahead and click on it. It's going to open up the next page where in this case, you should be able to see the area, the about for this specific page. But in this case, let's go ahead and click a room here. So just click on reserve here. So it's going to go to the Expedia payment section. Now in this case, you should be able to add your name, your surname, your mobile number here, and a lot of other information. Now, in some cases, you should be able to see Klarna here in the payment methods. But in this case, if you don't see Klarna here, you might need to choose a different platform because sometimes Klarna will not appear here, but sometimes they would actually appear here as well. Now, in some cases, you just need to choose a different platform if that is not feasible. As, of, as you can see right now, Klarna is not visible. But in this case, if Klarna is available in here, what you need to do is just choose Klarna there and you should be able to log in into your account and proceed with the payment by clicking on buy now. How to use Klarna on Amazon. So for us to start using Klarna on Amazon, we first have to download and install the latest Klarna app on our phone. So remember, this is only or this will only work through the application for Klarna only. Now, what we need to do next, once we've installed Klarna on our mobile phone, we need to open the app and find Amazon on the main home screen or use the search function. Now, from then, click on Amazon and the app will take you to the Amazon website. Now, from the Amazon website, look for the indications that says pay with K button at the bottom of your screen. If you don't see it, you open the app and choose Amazon again. It's important to see these two buttons under the Amazon website to use Klarna on Amazon. 
Now, the next thing that you want to do here is just basically start shopping. Add items to your shopping cart and buy them as usual. Now, when you're done, click with click the button that says pay with K, enter the amount and choose how you want to pay for your items. Just make sure you go through the steps in the app to use Klarna and the pay with K option will be there. And that's about it. How to use Klarna on Booking.com is it really possible? So we all know that Klarna is a buy now, pay later platform, which is something really helpful if you really want to purchase something and you want to pay it for a later date. Like for example, you receive your paycheck on a later date and you want to use that to pay for what you're going to buy now. Now in this case, we are going to know if it's actually possible for us to use Booking.com alongside Klarna. Well, Klarna is not available on all platforms, so meaning the usage of Klarna right now is kind of limited. So currently, we are in the official website of Klarna, which in this case is going under the travel category for Klarna. So currently, these are going to, going to be the websites that actually supports Klarna on their websites or in their payment sections. Now, in this case, when we actually look for booking.com here, so just type in booking here and as you can see booking.com does not exist in Klarna because as of right now of this uh, creation of this video Klarna does not yet support booking.com as a means of paying for your purchases so meaning you won't be able to start using Klarna using booking.com now in this case you might have to use a different platform that actually supports Klarna so there's going to be a lot here, so make sure to visit their official website. Now in this case, there's going to be Expedia, there's going to be alternative airlines here for flights, and a lot more. Now in this case, you just need to choose the appropriate one here. Like for example, if you want to use Expedia, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you want to use uh, alternative airlines, you can go ahead and do that. And from then on, you just have to ensure that you fill out all the necessary details here, as well the necessary information that you need to provide for you to basically make it check out now in this case it's very important that you access the website there or the website itself via the Klarna website here so that the payment from Klarna would actually be appearing on that website itself now in this case uh, this is the only thing that we could do right now as of right now booking.com does not support Klarna which is something really important uh unfortunate so in this case we don't want to spread misinformation out there but there's going to be a lot of alternatives that you could try in using or in booking hotels with Klarna and that's about it how to use Klarna on PlayStation Store so in this case how do we start using Klarna on PlayStation Store now currently we are in the official website or web page for PlayStation here and we are currently in an article that explains what Klarna is and how to use start using Klarna on PlayStation now to make a purchase using Klarna here is you first have to add eligible items to your shopping cart and offer Klarna during the checkout process. Now from then choose the Klarna payment option that suits or suits your preference option includes four interest free payments or monthly financing based on cart and address eligibility. Now input your credit or debit card details, monitor and manage your orders and payments conveniently through the Klarna app. Now, in this case, there, there's going to be some cases where an order or a card is ineligible for Klarna. So, this card actually contains items that are pre-orders, digital items including subscriptions delivered via email, or cards totaling less than $50 or less than $200 for New Mexico billing addresses including sales tax, shipping, and apply discounts. Also, billing or shipping address at APO, FPO, or DPO boxes. Now, if you, you want to use your P, uh, Klarna as your payment method, adjust your cart accordingly and alternatively, you can proceed with your purchase by selecting to pay with a credit card. Now, there's going to be some conditions for you to start using or for you to sign up for Klarna. So, one of those things is you need a US-issued debit or credit card. 
and you're also 18 and above and SMS capable forward number that you currently have and a US residential address. Now in this case, if you have those conditions met, you should be able to basically start creating or have a Klarna account. Now, in this case, that's how you use Klarna on PlayStation Store. Now, if you want to learn more regarding Klarna and PlayStation Store, you can go ahead and visit their website, which is going to be PlayStation.com, and go to their support and search for Klarna. How to pay monthly with Klarna. So, first thing that you need to do here is you first have to guarantee that you have the latest update or the latest application for Klarna. So, if you don't have it or if you don't have the latest update first, go ahead and open up Google Play Store, search for Klarna, and and make sure that you update your app. Now, once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is you need to open the Klarna mobile app and navigate to your wallet. Now, if you attempt a, to create a new digital card for a purchase, regardless of a chosen store, you will observe that when you enter the desired amount in the payment calculator, the default payment method is set to bi-weekly payments. Now, if you're interested in making monthly payments instead of bi-weekly, there is a way to achieve this, but it depends on the store and their financing options. While Klarna provides various payment plans and methods, including financing, the availability of monthly payments may vary based on the store. Most stores default to buy weekly payments to monthly with Klarna. You need to find a specific store that offers financing options. And once you are on the checkout page of this particular store, you should be able to select the financing option. Keep in mind that this process differs from stores to store and not all of them may accept monthly payments. Now to check if a store accepts monthly payments with Klarna, explore the stores page and look for financing options during the checkout process. Now if you found a store that allows monthly payments, select the financing option during the checkout and this ensures that you can pay for a variety of products on a monthly basis. Now when setting up a Klarna payment card, ensure the store accepts monthly payments and select this option instead of default bi-weekly one. How to change Klarna payment date. So to extend your Klarna payment date, use the latest version of the Klarna mobile app. Now after opening the app, sign in to your account containing the purchases for which you want to adjust the payment date. Navigate to the purchases tab within the app and if you have existing orders, they will be displayed here. Now you can manage them at any time. This window is where you can extend your due date. Select the order you want to pay later, access the payment options for that order, and within the payment options, you'll find the choice to extend your due date. Now follow the provided instructions to select the appropriate date from the available options. And if you need additional assistance, you just need to go to your profile, select the customer support option at the bottom, and contact their support team. They will guide you through these specific issues and that's about it. How to fix Klarna not working. So there's actually multiple reasons that or the reason why Klarna might not be working with you. Now in this case, I'll be showing you what the fixes that you could actually do to probably fix this issue. So one of those things is you have to ensure that the website that you're visiting for Klarna is properly set up, meaning you have to ensure that you're using the correct region. Now, for you to check your region, you just need to go to Klarna.com and from here, just scroll to the very bottom and you should see the region that you're currently using. As you can see right now, I'm in the Australia region. So if you want to change this, just click on it and you should be able to change your language here. Now, in this case, when you actually switch over to a different section, like for example, I want to go to Canada here, that would actually switch over to Canada here. And as you can see, I was able to basically go there. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and do that for uh, anything that you want here. And from here, check if that solves your issue. Now, if that doesn't solve your issue, there's a few things that you could check here as well. So one of those things is you have to ensure that your card is still valid. So this is going to be an article from Klarna themselves. So these are legit steps that you could do. But one of those things for invalid card is you just need to go to your purchases, select your order, and from then choose to change your card. Sometimes having an invalid card would actually result an error on your purchases. Now, also one of the reasons that you're having this issue is you might be getting some 
technical errors. So meaning you just need to change a few things on your side. So one of those things is you have to ensure that you have the latest version of the app if you're using the mobile version for Klarna. Now, another thing that you could do here is you have to ensure that you clear your cookies from time to time. Now, to do that, you just need to go to the top right here, click on the tree dotted icon, go to the section that actually says here, clear browsing data. And from here, what we need to do is you just have to ensure that cookies and other site data is actually set up or click in here. Now, in this case, you can go ahead and just click on clear data here. And from here, check if that solves your issue. Now, another thing that you should, should, should ensure here is you have to uh, verify that you actually succeeded on the two-factor authentication for Klarna. Now, failing the two-factor authentication basically fails to verify your identity. That's why you might have this identity or this issue. Now, another thing that you might need to check here is if you have sufficient funds in your account. So if you're unable to uh, collect payment or if they are actually unable to collect payment on scheduled date, they will try again. So in this case, you just need to ensure that you have, you have sufficient funds. Now, another thing that you should be checking here in Klarna is you have to ensure that you're paying your uh, current balances within Klarna on time. Having a huge balances on your account and not paying them on time would actually result on some of the payments that you'll be doing in the future being declined. So that is some of the reasons that you might having this issue. Now in this case, make sure to be a very, a very functional with your payments and uh, Klarna would actually accept your future payments. But in this case, those are the fixes that you could actually do to probably fix Klarna not working on your side. How to set up Klarna for my business. So setting up Klarna for your business is actually pretty easy, but there's a whole application process that you need to go through. So first thing you need to do here is you need to open up any browser and go to their official website, which is going to be Klarna.com. Now, in their official website, you should be able to see the For Shopper page here. But since we want to set up our Klarna account for our business, we need to switch over to the For Business page here. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now, in this page here, you should be able to see different information about Klarna. So if you want to read further into it, like for example, the brands that actually trust Klarna here and a lot more uh, payment solutions and marketing solutions here, you go ahead and read that. But in this case, since we want to set up Klarna now, what we need to do is just click on the Get Started button at the top right of your screen. Now, in this page here, it's going to load up the portal Klarna.com. Now, in this case, it's going to ask you a lot of information here. So that includes the basic information about yourself, your business, your stakeholders, as well as connecting and specifying your bank accounts. Now, in this case, I want to go ahead and specify my uh, email here, specify my website here. But this is just an example just to show you. And we also have the country of registration. Now, I do have to know you, uh, know here that Klarna is not supported on every country. So there are a limited number of um, countries that actually supports Klarna. So one of those is going to be Australia. So make sure to check their websites first if your country is supported by Klarna. Now for now, just click on continue here. And in this case, it's going to ask you what is your online business size. So maybe I want to say it is over 10,000 here. And from here, it's going to off, uh, ask you which services or products that you offer. Now, there's going to be a lot of products here, like for example, age restricted products, licensed weapons, pharma and medical services. But in this case, I'm going to choose I offer different type of product and service and hit on continue. Now, from here, it's going to ask you what platform are you on. And in this case, you just need to complete all the information and all the questions that they'll be ask you, asking you in this page here. Now, once you completed the form here, it's going to send your application here in Klarna and you just need to wait for Klarna to reach back to you regarding your application for an account. How to add Klarna to Stripe. So how do we actually start adding Klarna to our Stripe account? So first things first, you need to go to stripe.com, log in into your account and once in your dashboard, we need to access a few things here. So first things first, you first have to turn off your test mode here. So for you to turn off your test mode, make sure that you activate your account first. But for uh, this demonstration purposes, I'm going to leave this on a test mode. In this case, what we need to do is we need to go to the top right here and go to the settings section. Go ahead and click on it. And from here, you want to go settings. Now from here, look for payments and click on the payment methods link here. 
Now once you click on it, you should be able to see this page here. Just scroll down a bit until you see this section here that says buy now and pay later. Now in this case, since Klarna is within the uh, section or category for buy now or pay later, this is where you'll be able to see it. Now in this case, you should be able to locate it. Now in this case, just click on the turn on button here and that should actually activate your Klarna. Now if you want to view more or more settings about it, you could go ahead and expand this one. And from here on, uh, you should be good how to set up Klarna on Shopify. So you might be wondering how do you actually set up Klarna to accept payments on Klarna on your Shopify shop. Well this one is kind of tricky but it's actually pretty simple. So before we actually show you the way on adding Klarna into your shop, you first have to determine if you're eligible. Now we all know when you're actually setting up your shop it's going to ask you where do you want to locate or basically uh determine or specify where your shop is going to be located so may it be on australia or in singapore in any other location there you just need to choose where your shop is located but in some cases klarna or klarna itself is not supported on all countries now depending on where your uh, current shop is uh, set to like for example i have my shop here set to australia it means that klarna accepts or supports my store now to check that you could go to their official website which is klarna.com they have a website or a specific page for this one so for klarna payments methods they actually accept it or they are available in the following countries so it is within norway finland denmark and a lot more countries and that includes usa and australia but in this case, we first have to determine if we are eligible. So if you're one or if your shop is located in the following countries, then most likely Klarna should be available to you. Now, in this case, if your shop or your shop here does not is not located on the following locations, when we actually search for the apps uh, later on, I'll be showing you how it's going to look like. Now, let's say how do we actually start installing Klarna and using Klarna in a Shopify shop? Uh, what we need to do here is we need to go to our settings at the bottom left and from here you need to go to the payment section here and what we need to do is we need to add a payment method that uh, for our shop now to do that what we need to do is just scroll down a bit here go to additional payment methods click on add payment method here and what we need to do is we need to search for Klarna so in this case this might load quite slow so it depends on the current server of shopify right now so in this case i want to use the search by payment method here and i want to search for klarna I just press on enter and from here let's just wait for the search to appear here so klarna should actually appear here so if it appears if it actually appears on the search section here go ahead and click on it it's going to add it into your uh, search bar here which in this case you should be able to see different providers that actually supports Klarna so they have Klarna themselves in here but they also have a ping pong checkout Asibo local payments air wallets and a lot more so this uh, payment providers actually gives you the meta to add Klarna but if you want to use like for example ping pong checkout here you'll be able to use Visa MasterCard and amx here or american express for your payment methods but in this case just to give you an example we're going to use klarna here just go ahead and click on it and from here it should actually redirect us to the section for installing uh, klarna here so in this case uh, you should be able to uh, click on this one so let me just uninstall this one so i'll be showing you the full process here so here, going back, this is the page where in this case, we'll need to install Klarna. So let's go ahead and click on install here to fully install Klarna. And it should open up a new tab, which in this case, it will show the official app for Klarna on the uh, app store for Shopify. So in this case, let's just wait for it to pop up here and load up. Now in here, what we need to do is just click on the install button here to fully install that. And from here, it's going to load up the installation here. So let's just wait for it to load up. Now in this case, once Klarna is now installed into your store, you should be able to see the next page here, which in this case, you need to log in into your Klarna account. Now if you don't have a Klarna account yet, I would suggest you to click on the get started button at the bottom right here, and you should be able to see the Klarna merchant portal here, which in this case, you need to fill out all the necessary details here to apply for an account. So that includes the basic information, so e-commerce, the country of registration 
administration, your business details, your stakeholders, and your bank accounts. Now, in this case, you just need to complete the form here to fully complete your application here in Klarna, and you'll be able to connect your account here on your Shopify store. How to add Klarna to WooCommerce. So the first thing that you need to do here is you need to access your WordPress website. In this case, uh, we are actually requiring you first install WooCommerce here. So if you haven't yet, make sure to install that. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to de add the plugin for Klarna. Now, for you to add Klarna into your account, go to the plugin section here and click on the add new plugin option. Now, from here, we need to go to the search plugins at the top right here and just type in Klarna, just press and enter. And from here, look for the Klarna extension. Now, make sure that it is by Klarna here. Now, in this case, make sure to choose this one. So, let's go and click on install now. And from here, you should be able to install that. Also, we have the Klarna payments for WooCommerce. Make sure to install that as well. And once you've installed that, you could go and click on activate here and that should activate the plugin itself. Now, as you can see, WooCommerce is now currently updated, uh, installed here. So in this case, I would suggest you to enable auto updates here just to make sure that you have the latest updates on Klarna or uh, the section for uh, Klarna here. So by the way, this is the Klarna uh, section here, Woo payments for Klarna, so make sure that you enable that. In this case, let's go ahead and uh, make sure that we actually installed it or set it up properly. Now here, what we need to do next is we need to access WooCommerce here. So let's go and click on WooCommerce. And from here, we need to choose the settings option here. And under settings, we need to go to payments. Now under payments, you should be able to see Klarna payments here. And in this case, make sure that you enable that. So once you've enabled that, what we need to do is you just need to click on the finish setup button here. And that this would actually redirect you to the go live section for your Klarna. In this case, you just need to provide the following details. So that includes the title, description, and if you want to test this first, you can go ahead and enable the test mode here. Now, in this case, you have the log debug messages here and log extra data if you want to log any of the transactions that is happening or any uh, anything that is happening within the background or the back end within Klarna and WooCommerce here. And also, you have the product URLs and client to URLs to order email and customer type. Now, in this case, you have the uh, countries here. In this case, if you actually uh, expand this one, you should be able to add the production Klarna API username and the Klarna API password as well. Now, I also have the uh, test uh, version here, which is the API username and password, which are the test uh, API here. Now, in this case, you just need to go to your Klarna account and uh, generate an API. So you could actually contact their support so on how to actually generate that. But in this case, once you've generated your API, both the username and password, you just need to enter in here and make sure that you save your changes. Now, once you provide all the details here, you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.